So welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Buddies. And today, what are we up to? Buddy? Well, buddy, what we got going on today is a little bit of uh, a topic, a conversation. Nice. And we have a featured bourbon. How we did that work out? <laughs> yeah, it worked I guess, out pretty good. I think it just landed in front of the mic. All right, you... Let's let's talk about this because this is exciting stuff. That is exciting stuff. I kind of like this stuff. So go. you told me about it first. I did, but so no, no, no. You go ahead. I didn't buy it. That's all right. You jerk. Well, just just tell tell the fine folks. All right, I'll it. tell the fine. So what is sitting in front of the mic in front of you right there is interesting because this is a uh, single barrel store pick from Bourbon Street. Is it considered a store pick? Yeah, it's a store pick. I guess technically. Because this is from, it says on the back, distilled in Indiana. Which I think that's obviously going to be MGP. It is. Most MGP. likely. It, it is. Say so you yeah, know. I know. So, uh, yeah, it's a store pick, single barrel bourbon. And this one particular was picked by the whiskey director or owner, owner. right, of uh, Bourbon Street. Yep. Which is in New Jersey. Awesome place. They have a couple locations, definitely. I think four or five stores. Yeah, they're yeah. awesome. And um, this is under their, really kind of their own label, which is kind of cool. That's what I was saying. Is it technically a store pick? I mean, yes, he went and picked the barrels. True. You know what? You're absolutely this is right. His own, it's his own label. That's actually him on the label. And how I know this is because I was perusing around right. the bourbon mm-hmm. aisle with a friend and... The guy just walked up to us and asked us if we needed any help. And we said, oh, we're looking at this, that, and the other thing. And then he asked us, um, have you ever, if we, have we tried this? And then he starts telling us a story. It is MGP. He right. goes there himself. That's him on the label. And it was the actual owner. And he went and he got us samples. He had some open bottles, got us samples, and let us try a couple of the different expressions that he has. And what are the odds of that? You know, and he never introduced himself as the owner. He just walked up and asked if we need help. So it and could have been started like, talking to it could have been anybody. Some yeah, random guy. He wasn't the dressed any different than anybody. Yeah. Could, I mean he was wearing you know the, the official t shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't uh but he has a high rye, he has a, a full straight rye, he has and uh, two weeders. And he's picking the barrels himself and having it bottled, putting labels on. He's actually he told us that he's actually writing uh, with a marker, which which bottle it is, which mm-hmm. which barrel it is, and uh, this one I think was the what he's calling the batch four, but really it's like if it's a single barrel, it's probably it's barrel four. Barrel yeah, four. Um, this was I think six months, or I'm sorry, six years, ten months, six so years, it's almost ten months. seven year, and it's barrel proof. And this mm-hmm. is the weeded. That's version. the weeded. Yep. So it's, this is a weeded MGP bourbon that's six years, ten months old. Yep. And I think the other thing about this, the proof point. So the proof point on this, AB, okay, so the ABV is 57.5, so the proof is 115. Yeah, so it's it's drinking good, it's drinking. It's drinking be- beautiful. Yeah, it's full. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not messing full. around. It's, it's got full. some uh, into it. And just for you guys out there, bottle 60, what a good number. Why is that a good number? I don't know, I just right. thought it was a good number. So. Neil's never had. He told me about it, and can you snake that you went there? And I, like it was spur of the moment. I went there with a friend of mine, and he was like, "Hey, where's that whiskey store that you always talk about?" So we just drove over, and we just, just all things came together, man. It was beauty. But I'm gonna give you first nip, buddy, out of the bottle, buddy. I, I appreciate the buddies that. too. You got the buddy pour too. I get. A, I would. I had to stop myself. I was gonna pour it a little full. I don't, I don't know why. I think that's from the water. No, it looks good, days. dude. That looks. Per- that's a perfect pour. So, can people order this online and ship it, or don't we know? Yeah, it's on their website. It's on um, Bourbon Street's website. So, yeah, this is Bourbon Street um, single barrel selection. And uh, let me see if... Yeah, they have this under the um, label of Barrel Bandit, which, you know, it's kind of to, to say, like, you go into the you go to the barrel, get the thief out. Yep. Yeah, sneak boom, out sneak out that, you know. It's, it's a that clever t- name. I'm digging it. I yeah. love it. But and I'm really honestly, excited about what an awesome guy. He was just a really cool guy. So definitely want to give a shout out to him. He was uh, the owner was just a really, really nice guy. So, well, it's got a lot going on. Oh, it's it's got a lot going on. And this brings us to our topic, buddy. I think 
you know, this, this I think, represents kind of what maybe we want to talk about a little bit with single barrels. Just stuff. single barrels in general. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, single barrel kind of over, th- you know, the, the kind of like overall, but I think... Um, it's it's unbelievable kind of what you're getting in single barrels because it's just such a difference in variance and we were talking about all the differences in you know uh, one barrel to the next you could literally have one barrel sitting there in the rick house and then right next to that barrel there's another barrel sitting in the same rick right, house right. same floor and they actually taste different right They're it's right like, next to each other so yeah i mean i, I contribute some of that to my thought process is mm-hmm. it's the barrel itself yeah it's how that barrel breathes or whether it's the grain it's something about that that uh, those pieces of wood are either maybe they have more you know they're giving off more barrel notes mm-hmm. just you know the grain is tighter or looser or however it works it's able to move in and out of the barrel differently the barrel breathes differently something along those lines but so that's what we've come to find with even some of your like higher end stuff it's just they're picking like the better barrels and that's something that yeah. most people don't understand is that like like you're saying barrel to barrel is different it's extremely different when you just take the breakdown of a barrel right each barrel has staves so obviously you have these long pieces of wood that go from end to end right and each one of those staves isn't coming from the same tree most likely not no. so yeah, I, I would mean, imagine. Yeah, no, it, it, they they take you know pieces together, you know, and there's boom, boom, boom. So when the co- you know coopers are building this, they're not necessarily this isn't all from the same tree. So you're getting right. They're just getting they're getting bundles bundles of, of oak. Of, right of of and now I don't know who. Well, I know there's barrel making companies, right? Oh, of course. So they're getting they're milling out staves out of oak at or probably you know an automated production right so right, you're right. right i mean it could be a different tree and and that's kind of where i think some of were um some of the stuff we've tried and, and seen other people try like old stuff yeah why it tastes so much different i mean old growth lumber we don't have a lot of old growth lumber anymore i mean lumber industries beat it up pretty good plus right. they have to use a new barrel every time so that affects mm-hmm. it you know in the bourbon industry anyway so yeah you know you're burning through wood so that has to play a factor. And I would imagine with single barrels, they're not like, oh, well, it's a single barrel. This is the luck of the draw. You gotta, you, you get a crappy barrel. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah. picking barrels that are re- like ready. You know, oh, yeah. oh, the yeah. better of the barrels, you know? Yep. And not that they're putting them all, I mean, cause they need some of that for other stuff, but they're, mm-hmm. you get variation, but I, I tend to feel like you get just a little bit better. And that's a generalization. I mean, oh yeah, you're gonna, you could buy a single barrel that you don't like. You're absolutely right, and that that's why, as a consumer, I think it's very important to give single barrels a try because you get a totally different bourbon than the batched product, meaning that they're putting all the barrels together, and you know, either in a small batch or whatever they call it. Right. And uh, you know, you you take let's take Eagle Rare for instance. Eagle mm-hmm. Rare used to be a single barrel, but now it's kind of. Um, it's almost a single barrel. I think we described that in our other video. Yeah. But you compare it next to a store pick of Eagle Rare, meaning they pick a specific barrel of Eagle Rare. It's totally different. Right. I mean, it's just, it has totally different characteristics. I mean, you can obviously you tell, tell it's, it's Eagle Rare, but yeah, it just but, seems like it's just a little bit different. Yeah. Which I think is really cool when you when you think about it, of the versatility of single barrels and how much you can play around with it. It allows the... Really, kind of, you know, the the consumer to pick, you know, what yeah, they yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, which is kind of where we're at. Yeah, you know what I mean. But see, this is just proof, though, that really, I don't want to phrase this right, but you could take, I guess, if you had the ability and, and the funds and however it works, mm-hmm. but like. He's basically making his own whiskey now, technically. It's his own whiskey brand. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he has a store to sell it in and everything like right, that. Right, 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 right. I'm sure if we paid enough money, we could run off with a barrel, go down and grab a barrel, too. But what would we do with it? You can't. As long as you well, go through... Well, I do through... have a bottler and stuff at home. We could just put it in wine bottles. Okay. I think I might have to do that. Well, the problem is only if you, you only can go through a district. You have to have somebody that has a license. Right. They have to so buy it. They so... have to buy it, and you have there to go through go. them. But you could give them all the money. You could be like, hey, I have you know, $3,000, $4,000. Can, yeah, I wonder what they it. like if you wanted to buy one barrel. Depends on what. You know, which you can do that. How old and, it is. Um, 
Where was I? Oh, uh, God. Uh, Jameson. When I was in Ireland. Oh, you can pick your barrel. You, no, you can buy a barrel. You can buy a barrel. Yeah. They have, like, programs. I don't know oh, all the man. details. You have to look into that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but, like, you can go in with somebody. Like, we could go in and buy a barrel of our own and, like, mm-hmm. label it and everything. That's you know. pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. That really is cool. So, but here again, there's good stuff coming out, and what I think is awesome is, is he's, like, hand-picking it. Like, he's going there. Yeah. He's picking it out. This this is the barrels I want for these things, and this is, and they're bottling it and sending it to them and doing the whole thing. So it's that's very super cool. That's super. It is cool. super cool. It gets you also, I think, talking about whiskey in general with the with the store owner or employees, and it kind of gives you some like a personal experience. You go to that store, and it's like, hey, look, we picked this. It's cool. It is cool. It gets you to kind of understand, and learn a little bit about bourbon too because they always on the single barrels typically they're going to be talking a little bit about like mash bill alcohol percentage right. what barrel it which, was which a lot of that stuff's online right on, yeah on, yeah yep see yeah. i ran into him in person so i didn't so you, you yeah looked at it online so it's, you probably there's probably a little bit more information it's a nerdy nerdy yeah, way, did nerd, nerdy way. <laughs> i think he's got so that this 1792 foolproof pick <clears throat> is was one of from his picks yep this knob creek Almost 15 year pick is from him. And of course, this Four Roses, which has the Bourbon Street sticker on it, which is OESQ, single barrels from him. <laughs> Jeez. There's a reason we go there. I His love. Super picks are amazing. He, uh, yeah, and I really like. See, that's kind of cool too, is you get to see what that person likes in the pick. You know, usually you do a pick with a group of people. Right. Like a, st- you know, a, a barrel pick. But um, you get to kind of uh, understand where their palate is and what they like, and I think it's cool. Yeah, I mean, you may grab a couple store picks and be like, nah, I'm not digging it. Oh, yeah. You know? And you may go to, like, this guy likes good whiskey. He, I mean, every store pick I've had from him has been like... It's been like top notch. Yeah, yeah, because I used to, before I knew what store picks were, I would used to buy, this is before you were into it, buddy, I used yeah. to buy Jefferson's Reserve there. And it always had the label on it, store pick, and I was like, I don't know what that's. I didn't even know what that was about, but I just knew when I bought it there, it was really good. And I never really like thought about it. I, it's like, yeah. oh yeah, bottled for, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just just a label, you know, no different than a price tag. You're just labeling it, you know. But here he was actually, in hindsight, now I know he was actually picking it, right? Because you know? that was my that was my go-to there for a while. I was all about that stuff. I haven't had it in years. With the uh, Jefferson's Reserve? Jefferson Reserve. They yeah. do some cool stuff. I like where they're kind of going with everything. And, you know, with their Voyage. I really like oh, that Voyage, I Voyage stuff. I had one. And that was amazing. I've heard some great, great stuff about that. Yeah. Buddy, I'm, I'm going to have to put my lips Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to all you fine folks out there, too. There's a lot going on in that one, buddy. You can chew on that for a minute. Oh my god. It's a, it's I'm I mean it drinks I don't want to say hot, but it's it's hugging. Well that's my, that's my first sip of the day, and I'm going right in barrel proof. That's Did you have a to sip too? Did you have a sip today? Nope. This is your first sip. Yeah, I did I waited to open this, man. I was I kept walking past it, looking in the closet. Oh, there's so much goodness going yeah, on. This, oh this is, my goodness, I'm gonna die. Oh wow, I'm just blown away, man. I'm blown away. This is this is what good stuff from MGP can taste like, and this is just. I'm getting a lot of. I'm getting a little of that like barrel char, yes, but in a really good way, and it's warm, and like the warmth is hanging on, and I'm, it's almost like a little dark chocolate ashy kind of thing. And oh, then it's in like there. Cherry, and yeah, this is this, but it's unique. I haven't tasted anything like it. Now I'm getting a little nuttiness on the end, and then on there's the finish. This, like, it kind of almost like that. Um, if you were to take like sugar cookie dough and kind of just like <laughs> like it in your term, face, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a technical term. Yeah. Um, it's it's just got the sweetness to it. It's mellow a little bit with the because of the weeder, but it's got some good spice even. 
amazingly. Yeah, now he does have one that um, was a high rye. Is that like yeah. a 35? I think uh, MGPs, they do I, like I think, a 35 I think he percent. said it was like that. Um, it's actually on the labels at the store, and I'm sure it's on their website. Um, and that's what we tried. We tried the oldest of the wheat, uh, weeded whiskey, and the the high rye. And they were both excellent. But at the time, I, only, I was like, I already bought something else that we'll have to show you later uh, that we were able to get our hands on. So I was like, yeah, I can't buy everything in, in today. So, oh, and that's the neck pour. That's the neck pour. So it's only, it should only get better. It's only going to get better. Right. And that just goes to show you that, again, single barrel stuff, seek after it. Look at, look for it. You know, go in your store yeah. and say, hey, hey, I'm, right now, the most popular single barrel you know, obviously it would be Blanton's, right? And that's the original. And actually, that's what that's what uh, my buddy was there for. It was for Blanton's. Yep. He was there for Blanton's. He likes Blanton's, but he ended up buying a bottle of this, and he bought a couple other bottles. Dude, and, I would take that over Blanton's a million and a time over and over so and over long. again. I mean, that might be blasphemy for me, because that used to be like, when I say like Jefferson's was my thing, like Blanton's was... That was your deal. That was my deal. That was like my top for a while but I haven't had it in a few years because it's just been so hard to find and he said yeah. the same thing that it, it comes in and back to our conversation yeah people about, just go nuts about it yeah. he basically you have to ask for it and if they have it they'll bring one out because he gets only gets it in once a month and he's a big store and he only gets it in once a month and it, it just goes but his his advice was there's a lot of other good stuff so if we have it you know grab it by all means but like don't stress about it and that was yeah. that was his, you know, and he's a whiskey enthusiast, so he was just like, "There's a lot of really good stuff that you can get your hands on." Mm. So, kind of back to what we were talking about before. Yeah, it's it, that's cool. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, it's hey, if you if you know about Blanton's, I, I mean, if you're into bourbon, you probably have heard Blanton's before, obviously. Yep. I mean, it's a big big kind of deal. So if you heard that, hey, just be like, hey, what other single barrels do you have? If they don't have Blanton's. And it might open your eyes to just yeah unbelievable amount of product. I mean, you know, you have uh, Jim Beam's doing your Jim Beam just single barrel. You have um, uh, thinking, you know, Knob Creek um, yep. single barrel nine yep. year stuff at 120 proof. And you know, you got Russell's ten year, but you also have the single barrel. Yeah, the, the single, single ba- and the ten year is really good. But the single but the barrel, single barrel is just like a step up, and you pay a yeah. little bit more. But you know. Yeah, you can't take it with you, folks. You know? No, you gotta enjoy the ride a little bit. You gotta plan for tomorrow, but you gotta enjoy the ride a little bit. So, buy single barrel. Buy single barrel. Yeah, have fun with it. You know what? That's all I'm drinking for the next month. Just single, single barrel, barrel barrel proof. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, actually, we do have something else that just became single barrel, and you just picked it up. And should I? Uh, let me grab it. Yeah, just just for conversation. Sake. I'll let you kind of bring it over. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, uh, that's a Jeff original right there with yeah, Baker's. See, that's like Baker's your, fan. and that that hasn't been out that long from what I understand. It's the first time I've seen it. And they went single barrel now. Yeah, they were batched before, which I love their their uh, batch. Yeah, I stuff. hate to see it go, so I'm hoping this holds up. Now I'm staring at it. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, hey, that's a great thing about single barrels that you just never know really what you're going to get. You might get one bottle that's, with this right now, now this, this, these citrus notes are just popping out. It's really, this. it's opening up. It's yeah, really it's... opening up. And th- you know what? Another, bu- you know, barrel is going to be maybe different than that. Well, and he also, cool. he has another weeder. Uh, we didn't get to try it, which was the batch three or barrel three. Right. Um, batch two was the rye. And he didn't have. He only had one in four to, for us to try, which is right. still generous. You know? Oh, of course. Um, but he said it wasn't as old. Right. But we know that necessarily isn't a a deal either, or however you would say that. That's yeah. not necessarily a factor. Like if you're talking a it's year, not a factoid it, here. it could be. It could be where it was in the Rick House. Like there's so many things. So they're they're pulling the barrel when it's right. So like yeah. this now is saying. A minimum of seven years. But this one happens to be eight years, six months. Oh, but that I'm doesn't mean that, that you couldn't get a seven year that might be that barrel was ready to go at seven and, and even, yeah. even even a little bit better. I mean, or maybe not, but depending on where it was. Yeah. So we'll probably be reviewing that. Oh, of course. But we just wanted to show you guys that <laughs> we got our paws on it. Isn't this great that we're drinking a single barrel bourbon on top of a barrel? 
a single barrel. <laughs> a single barrel. <laughs> Makes it even better. It really does. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm digging this. I'm digging the ideas. I've, I've, I can't tell you a single barrel that I didn't like. I know. It's, it's sometimes, like, I've heard. Um, well, going back to Henry McKenna, that you, you know, love. I mean, there, there's, there's so many single barrel products out there that are just fantastic. You can get on the shelf. Um, and then there's store picks, which are single barrels that are really cool. If you have a store that does store picks, go for it. Like try instead of doing just the batch. Um, you know the batch version of it, just the you know the regular you know version. Try the store pick version of it and see what what it has to offer. Compare it and kind of get geeky with so it. So you're saying that a store pick is even if it's a batched whiskey, it's a single barrel. Well, I'm just saying that if um, you know just you have to make a store that clear, pick, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, when you say store pick, you're saying single barrel because they're picking one barrel and then barrel and then bottling it. And then that's okay. The, so even if it's a batched product, if it's a store pick, it came. It's from a it's a single barrel. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Just to make that clear. So just like because I thought that's trace. what you were saying, but I wanted to be oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So Absolutely. then that, that's a single barrel. That's a single barrel. Yep. And I'll say it right on there. Single barrel select. That's you'll see that a lot of the times. Like uh, four roses. Even says even if it's just barrel. a store pick. Yep. So this would be a yeah, single barrel oh, store is, pick. This is what batch ten. It's junk. So that's a batch. Yeah. It's junk. Ten. It's junk. junk. Yeah. Right. Um, like Elijah Craig barrel proof is not, that's a batch, right? That's not a single barrel. Um, they right. do not they, do pics of Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof. Imagine that. I know, you can it's get like the honey barrels. Barrel. Oh, God. Imagine that. I think those honey barrels are saved for probably certain people. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it used to be like guys would go sample them. The honey barrels, the ones that had like the marks on the barrels, because the, the dude's like stomachs would like hit the barrels as they're thieving it. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, this barrel's no good. Roll it, roll it to my office. Yep, you know? right in there, yeah. Well, what a job. Think what a jo job, yeah. Think about that job. Just like Fitz, uh, you know, John Fitz, Fitzgerald. Um, yeah. That whole thing where he had to take care of, he had the keys and, you know, he had to go in the, to the uh, Rick houses and make sure that no one was stealing anything, but he was, uh, he was nipping himself. He was <laughs> Well, you gotta, yeah, it's quality control. Somebody's gotta yeah. do it. That was probably pro or like pre quality control, mm -hmm. right? So he might be the father of quality control. I think he is. Yeah, yeah. Some people might say he was Steven, but I'd say he's just looking out for our best interest. I'll take his yeah. job, yeah. please. Yeah, can you imagine being like the Russells and all that and having that job? I know, man. You know, yeah, and they keep it old school. I love that about them. You know, I, I think there is something about that, and yeah. I know I know when we've when we've uh, talked to people about old old older product and just mm -hmm. how they did it, and just there is something about the old way in certain things that you yeah. can't. You know, we can produce things fast, we can produce a lot of it, but there is a point where, um, you know, you can't you can't rush time. As no, you cannot. And we know that from wine. Like you could buy those like wine kits, and in like two weeks you got wine. It's like what? You know, it doesn't work. Nothing when ever you have, tastes when good. you have like old age, well aged, properly stored wine, it's amazing. Oh yeah. So how you know, and they try to rush everything with science is what they yep. do. You know, but there is something about time and things just kind of fusing and and just morph, yeah, morphing together morph and, and fuse. Yeah, just <laughs> you know, oh, things well, becoming one in there. You know, I tell you, the six years, ten months on this bottle. Oh, man, did it morph into something nice. Yeah, now some people might say um, we were discussing that on a live event where that might be that's young to some people, but it's 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 so subjective to where it was aged. You're right, because if you're going like, to age it really high up, it's going to quicker. It's it goes, go quick. They call it aging quicker. Yeah, absolutely. Which, or hey, this thing was by a window. I can make a total difference. You know, and the sun shined on it every day. Yeah. I mean, like, you don't know. So, and th that's why it's cool to have that single barrel because it's just there's so many variables that yeah. can, you know, go into yep. the aging. And like you just said, with the time, you know, it's sitting there for literally six years, ten months. It's almost when seven When you think years. about that, like this Baker's gives you the date that it was put in the bottle. Yeah. What, 2011? January 2011. Like, wrap your head around that. That's it's crazy. Been sitting man. there a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what it's were you chilling. doing in 2011? Probably 
whole lot of nothing, probably. Yeah, no, probably. No, I don't sit down. <laughs> no, I don't. My toenails. I, you know, <laughs> I have no idea. But like, just to wrap your head around that, and when you get into like the old stuff. Yeah, you know, and I get it. I mean, you know, things do age and things get better, but at the same yeah. time, it's like you can't get hung up on it. You know? No, and you know, bourbon's meant to be, you know, drunk, drunk, drank, drunk, drunk, drank. I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on now. Um, you're supposed to drink bourbon. That's all yeah, I'm saying. You're supposed to drink it. Bourbon is supposed to be drank with friends. That's oh, you use drank. Yeah, it'd be drank with friends, right? Drank, yes, and making memories, right? Make a right, memory, right, 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 right. Make a memory with it makes makes it uh, that much more important to you. Mm-hmm. Oh man, so yeah, I mean, I think you know, um, go get single barrels. You try as many as you possibly can, and if you really don't like them, and there's like. What, and you'd be like, yo, the bourbon buddies tell me to drink single barrels, and Damn. I hate all of it. Yeah. Then you know Those what? Guys are... We'll just refund you all the money that we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That... Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you don't know unless you try. Yeah, you gotta. Exactly. You gotta try. And basically, something. if you have something, here's a, a good thing. What do you do with something you don't like? We've all bought something mm-hmm. that we were like this is terrible oh yeah just pour it down the drain you know the drain pour as we said you know what what do you do with whiskey like that do you pour it do you, do you discard it give it to company just give it to company that's it just leave it out leave it out for those who don't know leave it out. yeah 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 yep. just leave it, leave it out just let people try it and some people really they might like they it they might like it yeah, yeah. you hate it and that person loves it right so Disclaimer: We're not giving you money. Back. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think I. Uh, you got excited. I got excited. That's the. That's the. Uh, My legs start the, the twitching. The barrel bandit talk. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, like I said, I've always enjoyed single barrels. So. Yeah, drink them, please. Yeah. Highly Learn recommended. Out. Yep. Learn about them. Figure it out. Well, I mean, I think it's one of those things that it could help guide you. Hold your hand a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But at the same time, you don't want to get hung up on it. There's no rules. There's just guidelines. Straight guidelines. You know what I mean? Like, to say all single barrels are good? No. No, you can't say that. You can't say that. So there is no absolutes. No. There's no absolutes. But single barrel, I, I've always found to be the way to go. Yeah. And, hey, in some cases, it might be. It might. You might hate the small batch version of it. And then you love the single barrel. You're like, whoa, 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 Hold on. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, you know, you got to hit the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool stuff, buddy. It is good stuff, buddy. I'm excited about it. I'm glad we did this. I, I, I am too. I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad you did too. Because you had you just brought told it right me about it a few days before. God, I'm glad you picked it up. Yep. Yeah. I'll try to, we'll try to get more. In the glass but, tonight. Yeah, absolutely. But guys, if you can, and gals, if you can, uh, I always say that. But if you can go online, you can order it. Definitely give it a shot, man. It's it's yeah. And if you can't def- find that, just go to your local store. Yep. Pick up a single barrel, try it, and tell us what you think. Hop on the comments and let us know. Yes. I'm I'm curious because I could be talking out my rear right now. But you're not. I could be. I can guarantee this. Now. But I mean, for somebody else, I might be. Technically. technically. If we're being technical, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, somebody might be like, those guys are full of it and whatever, you know? Yeah, we kind of are full of it a little bit. We have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as we look good doing it, that's, that's all That's right, that's all that matters. It's better to look good than to feel good, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I thought looking good was part of feeling good. It can be. Yeah. It's translated into that. They say that. Yeah. I don't know who they, they Whoever is, they are. Yeah, right? whoever they are, they're watching. Careful. Well, that was pleasant. Let's drink more. We'll drink more. Yeah, and maybe you guys should be drinking more too. So we're, I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna nip on this a little bit more. See how it how it opens up. Yeah. Just I'll do a light. You ready, buddy? Yeah, I'm ready. Do we want the people to see this, or should we just see what? See us nipping a little bit more, or they they had enough? They probably had enough. All right, all right, right, we'll sign off. I yeah, guess. we'll sign off. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, we'll see you later. We just wanted to hop on and kind of discuss another topic. Um, 
these are things we talk about behind the scenes. So we figured, you know what? We might as well let you guys in to how lame we are and we sit here and talk about this kind of stuff. No, we wanted to let you guys like into some of this stuff and, and just kind of think about things maybe maybe you haven't thought about or just mm -hmm. um, get your opinions on it because we do, we check all the comments. Um, we're excited to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, we, we comb them with an actual comb, not a pick. Yeah, actual comb. Fine tooth comb. Fine tooth. Like a flea comb. comb. Oh yeah, we get all of everything. Yeah. Comes we, up. We read it. them several times. But we know we do. And we're, my... we're always kind of interested in what people's other thoughts are and, and comments to, you know, maybe looking at something that we didn't think of. So, or, or reinforcing an idea or whatever, you know. And just have this visual that we read these comments in our bathrooms in the morning. Usually. Yeah, it's, it's pretty epic with coffee. With coffee. Um, yeah. Not too early, though. Yeah, not too early. Not pretty early. You get up early. I get yeah. up early. Dog wakes me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, all right, from the Bourbon Buddies, um, we really appreciate you guys. So thank you for tuning in, checking us out, uh, taking the time to write comments, and just spending some time with us. Really appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.